It's go time, yes it's show time. Better get the tiny home wrapped up before the snow flies. What's up YouTube? It's Brian, I'm back at Bidwell Canyon Farm today. We are finishing the sheeting, the sheathing, the shear panel on the tiny home. We have one more layer up top, a few little pieces in here to finish up. We have made a ton of progress in the last few days. It has been howling winds, so it's been kind of a challenge, uh, but we're pretty close to being wrapped with our shear panel. We have some upper story stuff to do we are looking really good so we're gonna take a trip back to the past and i'll show you what's been going on thus far here at the farm Okay, a little status update. We have this wall completely sheeted. The rafters are blocked in between all the rafters and we are currently working on sheathing the other side. We're using half inch CDX plywood. I just have to cut out the window openings on this side and then sheath this little tiny strip where the rafters and the blocking come in and we will be done with the walls once and for alls. Here's a view from the top. This is the upper loft area with the shallower rafter pitch and the front of the trailer has a steeper pitch. That'll be all open. Don't forget to stuff your corners with your insulation before you run your sheeting. I made that mistake and I will never make it again. No, sir. So as you enter the structure, this will be the nice vaulted ceiling above the living area here. You're gonna have really great views from all sides. The kitchen will be here between the wheel wells. This timber, kind of a custom deluxe four by eight. It was a six by eight and I ripped a two by eight off of it. And we're gonna use this to post up to the ridge beam. So all the snow load and everything will transfer to this, 
this beam and out to these headers and down to the frame. So everything's structurally sound. This side of the ridge beam is joined by half inch CDX to the gable end and transfers its load down to the frame through these king studs. And out front, we will be installing some tube steel across the top plate to hold the walls together. It'll act almost as a truss and then provide us a cool spot to put some strip lights or something above that. So we're looking forward to getting to that. So today I'm gonna focus on getting the roof sheeting on and the wall sheeting finished up so we can dry it in. We have weather coming in about two days, supposedly. Well, would you look at that? She's all dried in. Oh man, I was up until literally three in the morning because there was a forecast of some weather coming in. But of course, now that I probably lost like four years of my life, there's not even a cloud in the sky. It is windy and there is still a chance, but it doesn't look like it's gonna dump on us. But I am happy to have this all wrapped up and totally dried in. So now I can rest easy while the windows show up. I'm going to wrap this video up. Oh, no pun intended. Special shout out to our patrons, Lori Wayne, Lawrence Smith, our newest patrons, Kylie and Greg, and Taylor Thornton. Thank you all so much for joining the farm fam. If you're interested in supporting this channel and this small family farm, check out our Patreon link down below. We have some super exclusive trucker hats being stitched as we speak. They're a limited edition only for you patrons out there. Thank you so much for joining the farm fam. I love you very much. And until next time, I'll catch you on the next one. Shaka! Look who's in the Lazy Boy.